Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I thought I'd share with you my top five favorite series that I've like watched or am currently watching. There is one that's on Disney Plus, one that is on Amazon Prime Video, and the rest are on Netflix or were on Netflix, we'll get into that. I'm gonna kick off with Prison Break. This was the first series that I had ever watched. And this is the first series that I also watched with Brendan. Um, Brendan actually got me into Netflix. I never really bothered, like I, I weren't really, I don't really watch telly and stuff now. I normally watch it more when I'm with him. Um, I just, I don't bother. I'm normally on my laptop and if I'm gonna watch something, it's normally on YouTube. So I normally like watch something on my phone or again, my laptop. But yeah, he, I don't know if he'd watched the first season. I'm pretty sure he'd watched one or two of them and he said, oh yeah, should we watch this? And this was when we was like first started to like go out. Um, so yeah, we ended up smashing this out, finished it over and like, because I only used to see him on the weekends really. So we used to watch it. I think, yeah, near enough every weekend we'd pretty much have like a lazy day and watch it on a Sunday. Um, so yeah, I actually highly recommend Prison Break. It's very like well thought out and it's just, it's funny, like it's got a bit of action to it. It's quite... I won't, it's not scary but it's a bit of like a thriller to it um but yeah just overall like it's a great series to like watch um I even I banged on at my mum to watch it and she was like no, no, no I don't really know uh, I'm not sure like she never like what like, really used like Netflix like me as well um so I don't know how long it took me to make her watch it but anyway she ended up watching it and she finished it within like I don't know maybe like a couple of weeks if that i think it might have even been a week and she was pretty late to it so she started watching it i think there was like the five seasons and she smashed it out within i'm actually sure it was a week she just like loved it off and she's like oh my god like what should i watch next um so yeah we we all love prison break in this house uh let's just put it that way <laughs> Number two is Gossip Girl. Now, I never thought I'd like something like this, but my friend Chanel kept on at me to like watch it. And we had planned to go New York, which is where it's filmed. Well, was filmed, I should say. Um, so I had to like smash it out. I think I smashed it out in like two weeks. Um, I literally watched it like pretty much all day, every day. Uh, well, when I could pretty much. Um, but yeah, she had watched it like three or four times and then it, I think it was more interesting because she was excited for me to watch it and then talk about it. There is someone outside, I don't know what she is doing. Um, yeah, so she kind of made it more exciting for me just because she was excited for me to watch it and then I was excited to like talk to her about it. So like every episode I'd watch, I'd be like, oh yeah, so they're just blah, 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 doing this. And she'd be like, oh yeah, so so-and-so's, like Serena's doing this with Dan and blah, 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 blah. And it, I don't know, it was just more exciting, but I did actually get hooked on it. And when it was finished, I was like lost. I just didn't know what to do in my life. Um, but I think they've now removed it from Netflix because I'm sure they removed it, put it back on, and then they've removed it again. I'm not too sure, but they've done something like that. So I wasn't impressed, but I'm not one of them people to go back and watch something again um really like i know chanel does watch a few things twice but i i don't know i just feel like once i've watched it once i've kind of it's not the same um but yeah if it's on then i would watch it do you know what i mean it's one of them but yeah I, uh, gossip girl is a good series i'm pretty sure a lot of you have watched it number three is ice on me now ice on me is basically this girl she goes to a party she ends up getting infected um i'm trying to like give you the storyline without saying absolutely everything um i feel like i'm just gonna give it all away but anyway so there's a girl called liv um i'm sure she's a nurse if i remember correctly um she goes to a party gets infected ends up becoming a zombie um and then she gets a job working in a morgue so basically it's for the police actually i should add that in so she works in the police morgue and basically for her to survive she has to eat brains and it by doing so it helps her look like human um apart from her hair so she eats the brains and all the people that come in there who she's like um doing the autopsies on are have been murdered and basically she ends up working with one of the detectives to figure out what happened but because she eats the brain she picks up their personality and 
basically turns into them for that episode and then she like pretends she has visions on how they died so then they like put all the pieces together and solve it um she like i really do think she's an underrated actor um she's called rose something rose rose what's your name oh i can't remember her name it's rose something i follow her on instagram um i'll have to i'll put her tag um on the screen now um but anyway i just think she does really well with like taking on so many different roles like constantly it's funny it's sad it's romantic it's great me and Brennan watched this and we just loved it off so much and again when this ended I was heartbroken like it was nice for like how it ended but I was just like look yeah you could have done another like five seasons I, I honestly I actually tell a lie I said that I wouldn't go back and watch anything but I think that's one thing I wouldn't mind watching again but it would have to be in like years and years to come because I, I just don't know I think I'm still trying to get over that it's ended so if I go back and watch it again then I'm gonna be sad again so yeah Eye Zombie is definitely worth watching if you've watched it let me know in the comments below because I just want to talk to you about it like simple like literally that's all it is like, I, I will sit there and have a discussion with you about it just because i absolutely love it that much um but i'm gonna move on to the next one we're gonna move over to amazon prime video now new amsterdam is just amazing now this is another thing i made my mum watch i discovered new amsterdam on facebook i see i think it was the trailer for it and i was like Oh, like it looks quite good forgot about it then I saw it again and then by that time it had actually been released so I was like okay well I've got Prime let's go like watch it um watch it with Brendan he was like oh I don't want to watch stuff like this apologies basically on my phone I have a reminder to make sure I've like uploaded my video and it just made me jump so now I've completely forgot what I was saying I know it's about New Amsterdam but I don't remember what I was actually saying uh that was it. So Brennan was like, I don't want to watch it. Like, I don't want to watch like a hospital vibe kind of like series. But it's it's way more than that. Like, obviously it is based in a hospital, but it's like a little family. I know like Grey's Anatomy and all that's like that. Um, I've never actually watched it, but I assume that that's the kind of vibe you get. They're all like a little team, like a little family coming together to save people, which they basically do in New Amsterdam. But it's it's just I don't know how to like describe it. It's funny. Like again, it is like there is romance. Um, it is so sad as well. And I think it was the end of season one. It oh my god, me and Brendan could not believe the ending, and left it on a cliffhanger. Yeah, so he's watching it. All the like madness happened. We both looked at each other and was like, "What the hell? They need to bring out the new episodes now." Um, but to give you the rundown, there's a new medical director and he's just straight to the point. Like, he's like, if you do this, you shouldn't be in the hospital. I'm trying to, again, I'm trying not to give it away, but I'm one of them. I, I can't explain it unless I basically give it away. But he just takes over, gets a good team behind him and just works together and like comes up with all the solutions that the hospitals seem to struggle with. Um, that's... That's all I'm going to say just because I feel like I'm going to spoil the rest of it but there is a lot of twists and I don't know I just I just love it. To sum it up New Amsterdam is just great. My mum absolutely loves it and she's always like should we watch one and just don't tell Brendan and I'm like no I can't because that's as bad. I can't do that like I feel like I'm cheating on Brendan if I watch an episode without him but my mum watches it on her own anyway and she literally just smashes it all out so like I will literally go to Brendan's for the weekend say, say for example right so when she first started it it was a Friday I think because I kept banging on at her to watch it on the Friday I went to Brendan's by the time I come back Monday morning I was like oh what episode you on shot I was finished I finished it bloody hell it's like amazing isn't it and I was like oh my days how the hell have you just smashed like I think there was like 18 episodes or something in the first one and she just like smashed them all out she's like when the, when's the next one coming out the cliffhanger at the end's like mad and I was like oh my god Sheila how have you just done that Sheila is definitely like the queen of binge watching anything like she just smashes it out and then she she tells me stuff that I like missed in it as well and I'm like what what she's like yeah this happened and so and so's doing this i was like oh my god yes yes they are my god and she's like yeah like question she still questions me now like oh you know when so and so done this 
when's this part gonna happen? And I'm like, oh my God, I completely forgot about that. But yeah, we've got some new episodes to watch. So I'm quite excited about that. The last series that I have been watching, which is the newest one for me, is 911. There is 911 and then there's 911 Lone Star. I haven't actually watched that yet, but I'm gonna because I know they do a crossover with each other. 911 has been like the best thing for me, like within lockdown. I am literally that obsessed with 911 that I walk around the house and I'm like, 911, what is your emergency? Sheila literally heard me do it the other day and she's like, are you all right? Are you, are you okay? And I'm like, sorry and like in my head I was just reenacting a scene that I'd watch but like I get that excited when I'm actually watching an episode and they say it in it obviously they do it in like every single episode and I'm like oh my god like Brendan look 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 and he's like you need to get out more and I'm like we've been in lockdown mate okay don't test me okay and then I tell him to shut up because obviously I want to like really engage with the uh, episode but 911 is just crazy like it's funny like I feel like everything is funny romantic and whatever else I've said. Oh, sad. That's like the top three that I've been, that's the three key words basically. But it's all of them and more. Like there's so much action in it and you're like on the edge of your seat like, oh my God, like are they gonna make it? I just love it. Um, Jennifer Love who it's in it. And she was from Ghost Whisperer, which my mum used to watch like years ago. So she kind of made me want to watch it. And the way I discovered it was again on Facebook because I don't know what it was yet, I sit there and I'll be like watching all these weird videos, just like we do on Instagram and TikTok and all that. And it was like the full episode, I think. It, yeah, I think it was, but I just skipped it because I was like, I ain't watching like 45 minutes. Skipped it to like the action part and she's like helping this girl and there's like an abusive um, boyfriend. And I was like, oh my God, like, like I said, I love her anyway, like anything she's been in, I think she's fantastic. And I was like, okay, let me watch it, because Jennifer Love Hewitt's in it, so it's gotta be good. Oh my God, did I eat my words yet? Yeah, because I was like, oh my God, it ain't gonna be that great. Like, why have I never heard of this? But obviously I see her and I was like, okay, it's gonna be okay in it. It's, it's got to be like half decent. I was obsessed, I was Googling it. I was like, Brendan, we need to get Disney Plus because I need to watch it. And then they only have two seasons and there's like four. And I was like, I can't have this. I said, I, I could not start watching it until I found where I could watch the other two seasons. So I found like a dodgy site and I've been watching it on there. And I don't even care if I get a virus on my laptop because of it, because I've just, I've just been loving it off. And I just can't wait to watch it. Like after I've filmed this video, I'm gonna go off and watch it because I love it that much. I'm not even gonna lie to you. It is, I think that is my favorite currently. Um, and then I would say I Zombie, even though it's finished now, I still, I just love it. Another one that I've just thought of is Vampire Diaries. Now my friend Alicia told me to watch this. I am adding an extra one in for you. Vampire Diaries, I think a lot of people love. Um, and I think there's the rivalry between Twilight and Vampire Diaries. I have never watched Twilight, so I can't like compare, but by the sounds of it, people do prefer Vampire Diaries. My niece is obsessed with it. She started watching it and she said it was scary because one of the bits made her jump. And then I was like, oh, I'm watching it. Like you should watch it again, give it a chance. And now she's obsessed with it. She's obsessed with Damon. Like she, uh, I don't know. She's like 13, 14, I think she's 14 this year. Um, maybe even 15 i think i've got it wrong no she'll be 14 this year i was right i was right um and she's got him as her screensaver she's constantly talking about him she wants his t-shirts like she just she just loves him basically to sum up vampire diaries it's two brothers they kind of have a love hate relationship but they love elena and they do anything for her again it's like just a big like group of friends and they just get up to like no good and look after people like i don't know i don't want to say too much um but yeah it, it, it's just worth the watch just go and watch it okay because they have now put it back on netflix which is good because my friend alicia was kicking off about it okay i thought she was gonna write in and actually like just ruin people's lives because she was that annoyed that it got taken off but literally it's so funny i smashed it out in it took me a week there's like eight seasons and I smashed it out in about a week maybe a week and a half and as soon as I said the scene that I was on she's like okay okay you've got the good part coming would kind of like hint at what was going to happen but not say every single time she got it right I don't know how she done it but she just like 
she knows the words like she could be in the scenes anyone would think she actually was in the in i nearly said film in the series because she literally knows that much about it and again she loves damon i do like damon actually he's all right i like them all actually one person that i think everyone kind of has a love-hate relationship with is matt i just don't know how he lasted in all eight of these seasons like how please someone answer me on how but um if you like i said if you do watch vampire diaries you know exactly who i'm talking about and you know you just know okay but that's all i'm gonna say i'm gonna end the video here before i waffle on anymore i added in an extra one so there you go it's a little bonus for you don't know what i did with my hands but thank you so much for watching if you did like this video leave me a massive thumbs up share it with your friends comment down below if you've watched any of these or if you plan to all that's left to say is have a fantastic day, thanks again, and I will see you in the next video.